When you bite into a vegan burger or snack and taste that rich, smoky, meaty flavor, have you ever paused and wondered, how on earth does this taste like real meat without a single trace of animal in it? It's not just smoke and mirrors, it's science, technology, and a surprising amount of creativity happening behind factory doors. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of food flavor engineering to uncover how companies manage to recreate the flavor of meat in vegan snacks from barbecue chips to plant-based jerky without using any animal products, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with a basic truth. Meat flavor is extremely complex. It's not just one single note of taste. The flavor of cooked meat comes from a symphony of chemical reactions, particularly something called the Maillard reaction, a process that happens when proteins and sugars in meat are exposed to heat. This reaction is what gives grilled meat its savory, browned, and slightly sweet taste. Then there are the fats in meat, which carry aroma compounds and add juiciness, richness, and mouthfeel. Reproducing that sensation using only plant-based ingredients is a massive challenge. That's why vegan food developers have had to turn to science, plant chemistry, and advanced flavor extraction to replicate it. At the core of creating meat-flavored vegan snacks, is a team of flavor scientists and food technologists. These experts work in laboratories and test kitchens inside food factories, where they experiment with hundreds, sometimes thousands, of different plant-based compounds to simulate the specific flavors found in beef, chicken, pork, or even seafood. These professionals begin by breaking down what gives real meat its flavor specific amino acids, peptides, sugars, fats, and aromatic compounds. Then they search for plant-derived alternatives that can mimic each of those components. It's not guesswork. It's chemical engineering at a culinary level. So, what exactly goes into the flavor of a vegan bacon chip or a meatless hot dog? Many factories rely on umami-rich ingredients like soy sauce, miso, mushroom extract, tomato paste, and nutritional yeast. These foods naturally contain glutamates, which provide that mouth-watering, savory note we associate with meat. Then there are natural smoke flavors, often created by capturing real smoke from burning wood and condensing it into a liquid form. This liquid smoke adds depth and that grilled meat aroma to vegan snacks. Some factories also use yeast extracts and hydrolyzed vegetable proteins, which are broken down into amino acids through a process similar to the Maillard reaction. These mimic the savory and brothy aspects of meat. On top of that, plant oils like coconut oil, sunflower oil, or cocoa butter are often added for mouthfeel simulating the fattiness of meat. But the innovation doesn't stop there. Many cutting-edge factories now use fermentation technology to develop more authentic meat flavors. In this process, food-grade microorganisms like yeast or fungi are used to ferment plant-based ingredients. This creates flavor compounds that are nearly identical to those found in real meat some companies even program microbes to produce heme, the iron-containing molecule found in animal blood that gives meat its distinctive taste and color. In fact, this is the technology behind the bleeding vegan burgers you may have seen on grocery shelves. Biotech companies working in collaboration with food manufacturers are also exploring how to create recombinant flavor molecules which means they use genetically engineered microbes to produce specific flavor compounds that taste like grilled beef or crispy chicken. These molecules are then purified and added to vegan products in extremely small amounts, often just a few parts per million, to simulate the aroma and taste of real meat. 
So once the vegan meat flavor is perfected, how is it actually added to the snack? This happens in the seasoning and coating stages of manufacturing. For example, in the production of vegan barbecue chips, the flavor powder, which contains a blend of smoke, sweetness, acidity, umami, and spices, is sprayed or tumbled onto the freshly fried chips inside a giant rotating drum. In the case of plant-based jerky, the soy or mushroom-based strips are marinated in liquid flavor blends, sometimes for hours, to absorb the full depth of flavor. After marination, they're dried or smoked in large ovens that replicate the texture of traditional meat jerky. An increasing number of consumers today are looking for clean label products, snacks made with recognizable ingredients, fewer artificial additives, and natural flavoring. This has pushed factories to innovate even further by relying more heavily on plant-based extracts and essential oils rather than synthetic compounds. Ingredients like smoked paprika, roasted garlic oil, onion powder, and black pepper extract are being used not just for flavor, but also to satisfy consumers' desire for transparency. To meet vegan standards, flavor factories must also avoid any ingredients that are derived from animal sources, even if they're used in microscopic quantities. This includes avoiding dairy-based carriers, animal enzymes, or gelatin in any part of the flavor manufacturing process. Factories often go the extra mile to get vegan certifications from third-party organizations, which ensures that their snacks can be labeled and sold as 100% animal-free. As technology improves and consumer demand for plant-based products rises, the world of vegan meat flavors is only going to get more advanced. We're already seeing startups working on AI-assisted flavor development, where machine learning helps predict the best combination of plant molecules to create a desired flavor faster and more accurately. Some factories are exploring regional meat flavors, like Korean barbecue or Mediterranean lamb, expanding the variety of options available in vegan snacks. So the next time you rip open a bag of vegan barbecue chips or sink your teeth into a plant-based burger that tastes surprisingly close to meat, remember, there's a whole world of science, chemistry, and innovation behind that bite. From the Maillard reaction in the lab to precision marination in the factory, the journey to create meatless meat flavors is as flavorful as the snack itself. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.